Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terrence Moon. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we're going to finish it off with, you know, understanding how to find your purpose and your goal. Now, the last video was uh, this, um, the first house lore and how, you know, to wrap this thing up. You know, you want to add another energy in all areas. Even if the first house has subsidiary versions on a broad objective scale, you know, these are two energies. Understanding your first house lore is understanding your tenth house lore. And then for the most part, blending those two things together when you act these events out. And then now you have an actual purpose and a goal because you developed it based upon the first house lore. And now you know how to substantiate it and ground it or materialize and manifest off of it based upon the 10th house lore. So that's what it is about. The first house lore was about actually creating the experiences to add on negative or positive to your goals and gifts if you got one. Or if you don't got a goal or gift, these events itself craft out something that you become aware of that when you start doing it it start developing as oh now i got a purpose i got a goal because these situations of validations and invalidations allow me to go through experiences negative or positive to construct something which what ultimately becomes a goal so you know the first house lord is going to be how you find that or how you use an energy to add on to what you have already found if you have a goal or a purpose the tenth house Lord is going to be how you substantiate it and ground it and it becomes your actual career or something that can satisfy you in your life if it's not a career but it's something that your career is separate that take care of your actual life but this is something you actually like to do on your leisure time and your career can help you support that also so you're not a person that got good gifts and talents but you don't have no way of going about it now for the most part here's the thing so first house uh let's say the tenth house lord is in the first house. The more you make a status or become known for something that's dealing with your first house. So create a status, business, career, or become known, or even gossip to a certain degree so you can become known. If it's on a negative end, but it's always just that. I like business to be on a practical end, not business to be all in someone's business like gossip end. But the more you take your status, what you're known for, how you're seen, will ultimately can become your career or what you're trying to get known for, right? And that's the 10th house. And apply it in the first house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, personalize it. Make it a personal issue. Make it a personal affair. Make it a personal insecurity. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you're in a per you make it a personal insecurity anytime you're not making a status. Any even when it comes to social media or anytime you're not being productive. Anytime you're not building something. Anytime you're not useful. Anytime you're not creating a status around yourself or creating a business and career. That should you should transmute that so it's not just having a personal insecurity being lost in it on the negative demonic side. You take that energy transform it transmute it and direct it into something that can be positive you make a status out of a plus uh, a frustration you become known for a personal issue and make it useful and productive therefore your personal issue can become a book that you're known for that can help others with that personal issue now you have the status 10th house of a person that ex that of a person that expressed something personally first house that now they direct it in a certain area that manifests as their purpose or their goal and they and it's a constructive way of how to gain a uh, foundation off of it you see what i'm saying uh, and construction off of it first house lord i mean 10th house lord in the second house uh now and remember the planets is different which i broke down in a previous video so if it's if it's the sun make sure that you're taking your personal life and creating a status of it and make sure it got something to do with your visions, actions, and how you want to be seen. If it's the moon, make sure it's something that you're reflecting, reacting, or, or controlling and people can look at it like you're being responsible for it or not letting it go out of chaos. If it's mercury, make sure you take your personality and, or personal issues and affairs or insecurities or interests, first house, and, a, and make a status or become known for it in a tenth house. And therefore, if, it's, if mercury is the ruler, like if Virgo or Gemini was your first house, I mean, it was your tenth house, and the 10th house Lord was in the first house and it's Mercury. Make sure that you take your status and what you're known for and how you seen and make up and personalize it or create a personal issue or affair off of it through the filtering system of the natures of communicating, thinking or I or sharing ideas in some way, shape or form. So that'll be you taking a status of, of something that you're known for. Applying that energy in the first house, personalize it, make it a personal issue when you're not trying to get known for it. If it's on the negative end, if it's a personal interest, then it should already be smooth to take your status that you're and make it a person, something that you're personally interested in. So it could be part of your personality, something that you're personally into every day. So that's taking the 10th house and put it in the first house. And if, if uh, the 10th house Lord is, if the 10th house is Venus or Gemini, 
then for the most part, it'll be mercury. So you will apply it and do the filtering natures of mercury, aka thinking, communicating, or sharing ideas personally and things of that nature that got something to do with what you want to be known for. Now, for, uh, 10th house, Lord, and the 2nd house, the more that you take your status, what you're known for, how you're seen, and what ultimately can become your career, your popularity level, or what you're trying to be, or how you're trying to be seen, and apply that and start to value that. Make that uh, part of what built your self-esteem. Plant seeds in that area, a.k.a. develop ideas and add good emotions in that area so it can have good seeds and water and grow as good fruit uh, that you can experience as your fruit and your labor that can sit back and build your self-esteem on. And therefore, that uh, um, whatever status it is that you value, whether you're seeing the external results or not, um, will place you into an energy to still experience that. Just may not be on a time that you want it, which is a form of lostness also. And that'll lead you down a train of thought, a line of reasoning of distraction that might steer you away from the whole goal at hand. Now, also, um, for, uh, tenth house, <coughs> pardon me, tenth house lord in the third house. The more, you, the more you take your status, what you're known for, how you're seen, and what ultimately can, be, can become your career, your popularity level, and try to get known for something in your surroundings, your environment, dealing with friends, make that useful. Uh, create your status and try to put it in your surroundings and look for things in your environment or in arm reach that can align to it in some way, shape or form. Or try to have a status within your surroundings. And that's when you can see that outcome being play, uh, played out where you can find some substantiator, substantiated manners to uh, materialize or manifest or had a product to be able to produce whatever goal or passion that you develop with the first house lord. You'll be able to know how to materialize off of it, it this being a 10th house lord, adding it to it. 10th house lord and the 4th house. The more you create a status or what you're known, or create what you're known for or how you can be seen in some way, shape, or form um, through the filtering system of home, family, domestic issues. Even make, it, even make your status being more home orientated and get rid of all the opposite energies also. Anything that's dealing with home, privacy, or domestic issues that take you away from your status. And make sure your status is these things. And you can be able to utilize that in some way, shape, or form. Make sure you create a status out of home, family, domestic issues, or privacy. And try to get known for these things. Even try to get known for a person who want others to respect their privacy and things of that nature. And that that energy alone will bleed in to other areas in your life where it's actually needed. And it can be directed to speed up the process for wherever your gifts and talents are. Tenth house lord in the tenth, I'm in the fifth house. The more you make a status, what you're known for, or, or try to be seen in something that's dealing with the fifth house area, expression, fun, and enjoyment, more light energy, make a status out of being light, you know what I'm saying, out of yourself, or even let most of your social media post, quote unquote, statuses, be things that's more uh, fifth house, uh, light, entertaining, um, attention, maybe not too much attention seeking, but something that could be given attention to others, or it could be received attention if it's fair, not negative, narcissistic way. And something that's more light and fun and enjoyment or something that could be entertained in some way, shape, or form. And the more that you will start to see manners of how to uh, pr make a practical decision or a circumstance or get in a position that you could conduct material or maternal or even money off whatever uh, passion or goal you develop or had to find or add on to with your first house lord. Now, 10th house lord and 6th house. The more, the more you create a status or become... Being known for something or something like that, dealing with work, health, routine, scheduling, or discipline, the more you can create that area in that, um, the more you can create that, create that life in that area. Let me slow down. Hee <laughs> hee. Coffee got me on 10. 10th house, Lord, and 7th house. The more you make a status or create what you're known for or how you're seen or try to make a business out of something or try to get known for something dealing with relationships, networking, or how you relate to others in some way, shape, or form, you can become the new Jerry Springer in some way, shape. You know what I'm saying? Now, 10th house lord in the 8th house. The more that you create a status or what you're known for or bring to the surface of something that's a deep desire, passion, motivation, or a struggle or a power control issue that needs to be transformed. And you can be used as the example to know how to make a situation much more sufficient, even if it was a scary one. And the more you can make a status out of this or become known for this or, you know what I'm saying, not be scared of the rejection or opposition or the vulnerability it puts you in and it become hard as a rock as the 10th house, then for the most part, it can be something that you stand on that can actually support you as far as money material or something that can benefit the fourth house to support your family home and privacy now 11th house uh now if you got the uh no not 11th house if you got the 10th house and the ninth house 
tenth house lord in the ninth house. The more you make a status or become known for something that deals with ninth house, be known for learning or becoming a teacher or having wisdom and knowledge based upon your experiences. Your experiences that's when you are the student, and then the outcome you have learned something that's when you can become the teacher and, and raise your morality, or be able to express these things or go for jobs that obtain these things and be an actual school teacher or something like that. But the more you make a status and become known for or make something that you want to actually make your business or make what you want to be known for, something that deals with ninth house spirituality, um, you can either become a preacher. A lot of preachers have this, you know what I'm saying? Make a whole lot of money like Creflo Dollar and uh, Joel Olstein and fly jet planes and stuff like that based upon them making a status of business or being able to use their ninth house energies in some way, shape, or form as far as wisdom and knowledge or spirituality or morality and being able to kind of build off of it because in the because now it became their status. So, you know, with the first house, I mean, with the 10th house, Lord, being in the ninth house, understanding from that circumstance, even if you're doing something totally different from religion, still utilize the energy and whatever you're directing it towards, it'll play out in that manner. 10th house, Lord, in the 10th house, you are responsible for this house. So you have to learn how to not be too gullible and passive in certain areas uh, when it's needed and learn how to uh, be a little bit more aggressive. And also a little bit more hands-on and demanding when it's needed and when you might think it's time to be passive. And therefore, here's the thing. The more that you are in control in some, in some manner, right, then it's up to you to create a status out of whatever status you come up with. It's up to you to make your business your business and not get lost into other indiv individuals' business. It's up to you to find the right direction um, in some way, shape, or form when it comes to understanding that you're uh, wasting time in certain things that's unproductive and unuseful. In some way, and it's up to you to understand what might put shade on you and you might rub shoulders with the wrong individuals, places or things that have put shade on your status and block you in certain areas and things of that nature. And therefore, once you go through all those energies and stuff, you will start to um, understand what you're good at, what you're not good at. And then in that whole area itself, that's validity issues. You're able to develop what your uh, your capabilities and incapabilities of and that that alone you develop a goal or passion or or status that you can build a status off and help other people with their statuses by a corporation or an entrepreneur type of circumstance. Pardon me. Now, also, um, getting into um, uh, 10th house lord in the 11th house. So the more you make a status or become known for something that's dealing with your associates and make sure it's the right thing so you're not guilty by association and it put a blemish on your status. But the more you make a status or, um, you know, conduct what you're known for, how you're seen or make it your business to deal with something and with taking that 10th house and placing it in the 11th house, take that energy and apply it with your associations, with your associates, how you conduct yourself in a public arena. And you can make these things useful. You can make use 10th house out of associations in a sufficient manner 11th house then therefore when you know how to do that and be a team player and things of that nature you could become the boss because in order uh, to know how to use others in a more fair way without it building any animosity a person have to know how to be used so for the most part if you understand that whole circumstance you know how to come across people that you're using at the moment without them making them feel like they're being used and the using energy being used in a more sufficient manner because that's not a bad thing and therefore each one teach one and then uh, the next individual will be able to put someone else in that position and then at the very stage of everything, we're all teaching each other no matter the position anyway. Now, for the most part, uh, 10th house lore and the 12th house. So the more that you make a status or what you're known for or, your, or make a career or try to be known for and make it your business to deal with something that's dealing with dreams, illusions, creativity, imagination, or fantasy. Now, if it's a delusion, make that a status so you can get the re reciprocation from the world to know it's a delusion. So don't be scared of rejection or opposition so you can craft up and make whatever the delusion is more creative and shed the delusional part so your dreams can actually come true and speed up by making a status or whatever you're known for, your business or career or something that you want to be known for and make sure it's something that's dealing with the 12th house something you want to be known for 10th house and make sure it has something to do with the 12th house place that 10th house in the 12th house be known for something that's dealing with a dream creativity or a delusion that could be expressed as a delusion then the rejections that help you craft up so it could be more creative and it could be something you put faith belief and imagination in then you will be the boss 10th house 10th house of something creative that you actually brought into this world based upon your imagination because you you're an artist, 12th house. And I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart.